Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am D. Parshwan Murthy, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Commerce and Management, Government of Karnataka. So today's topic is Statement and Assumptions. So this is usually asked and repeatedly asked in NTA, UGC, NET examination and at the same time it is asked in bank probationary and clerical examination. And this is a tough topic. You have to understand what is a statement and what is an assumption. So, you'll, usually you have five answers which are clearly given in these examinations. If you think assumption number one holds good for the statement, mark A as the answer. If you think assumption two is correct, mark B as the answer. If you think the answer is either assumption one or two, then mark C as the answer. If you think both are not correct, then mark D as the answer. If you think both are correct, mark E as the answer. Now, I would like to illustrate with the following example. The first example for you. Statement. The government has decided to pay the compensation to the tune of 1 lakh to the family members of those who are killed in the railway accidents. So what does this statement mean? Very simple. If a person is killed in a railway accident, the government has decided to pay the compensation to the tune of 1 lakh. So there are two assumptions. Number one, the government has enough funds to meet the expenses due to compensation. This assumption is correct. The reason over here is because the government has used funds with them, automatically they can provide compensation to the killed victims. Point number two. There may be reduction in accidents of railway accidents in the near future. This is in no way connected with the statement because you cannot correlate the statement with the assumption. So what's the answer? Only assumption one is implicit. Now I'll move on to the second illustration. Children are influenced more by their teachers nowadays. This is a statement. Assumption. The children consider teachers as their role models. A large amount of children's time is spent in school. So which assumption is correct? When I was a student, I always used to adore my teachers. I usually used to consider them as role models. So automatically assumption one goes with the statement. The second one, a large amount of children's time is spent in school. Usually they spend eight hours in the school and not all the students are influenced by their teachers. So the second assumption is not correct. Remember, therefore, the answer over here is only assumption A. I'll move on to the third example. Double your money in five months. You find an advertisement in the newspaper. Assumptions are the assurance is not genuine. Always remember, Whenever people find such advertisements in the newspaper, they usually assume that it is not genuine because according to the bank rate of interest, the money gets doubled after 10 years. Remember that. So assumption one is not correct. They think it is not genuine. It is not true. Come to the second one. People want their money to grow. See, most of the people want their money to get doubled. So automatically, they will invest in such type of funds. Now let us take, take the example of mutual funds. The top five mutual companies in India or in the world, which are global companies, if you invest, some mutual funds will give you 40% return in just one month. So the above statement is correct. Therefore, the answer is assumption two. So in the next class, I will be giving you the explanation about statement and conclusion. Have a nice day. Thank you.